How to Arrange a Networking Coffee, posted at Forbes, written by Liz Ryan. Everyone says you should network over coffee, but they don't tell you how. Here's the story on networking coffee meetings. You can ask anyone to go to coffee with you, but if you're new to networking, I recommend that you start your coffee meetings with people you already know well. That's stupid, Liz, you're thinking. Why do I need to talk with people I already know? You do, my angel, and you will see that more clearly as you get deeper into the networking mosh pit. Your friends know you and they may adore you, but they don't know a lot about the work you unless you and they already work together or talk about your jobs a lot. You will be shocked when you begin to sit down with even good friends of yours and realize that they don't have a clue what you do for a living. If you're looking for a job or just trying to grow your networking muscles, then going on coffee networking dates will be really good for you. You'll get used to talking about your work or your job search and asking other people about theirs, too. Start with people you know well. Send an email message or a text, or pick up the phone call, or use Facebook or Twitter direct messaging or a message via LinkedIn. Reach your friend in whatever way you and she or he usually communicate. In your message, you can say, I was thinking about you and wondering how you're doing. Do you want to have coffee one day soon? If you know the person well, you can suggest a date and time just to get the networking ball rolling. If that date and time and location work for your friend, then he or she will say so and your date is set. If you don't know someone when you extend a coffee invitation, and this of course is an advanced networking topic, since most newbie networkers aren't comfortable reaching out to perfect strangers to invite them out for coffee, you won't suggest a date and time or a location in which to meet. That would be terribly rude because the person you're writing to doesn't yet know you exist. You can't very well say, hi, I exist, and so how about coffee next Thursday at 2 p.m. at the bean counter? At the coffee meeting with your friend, you'll both get coffee, you made the invitation so you can offer to pay for your friend's coffee and sit down at a table or booth. You'll say, what's the latest with you? And really listen. You can lend advice if they need it. When people have not done much networking, they often say, wow, I didn't know that networking with people over coffee could be so therapeutic. It's great to talk through ideas and problems with another person. It's true. Sometimes when we are bottled up and feeling like we don't know what to do or how to proceed, sitting down with another person is the best remedy. Even if you and your friend never get to your stuff because you spend all of your coffee time together on their stuff, the meeting will still be beneficial for you. Helping other people solve their problems is an enormous mojo booster. Your job is first to listen, second to give advice if advice would be helpful, and third to talk about your own situation. Don't be impatient and feel that the goal of your networking coffee is for your friend to give you tips and leads for your job search. That may come in your coffee meeting today, or it may not. Either way is fine. Networking is a process, not a transaction. Next time, we'll talk about having coffee with new friends that you've just met, including people your old friends introduce you to. In the meantime, follow our columns here on Forbes so you don't miss any of them.